I have a lot of achievements, a lot of dreams. I want to continue to win titles and to continue to improve myself and have a great opportunity to win something important. We have to go for, for it. The 2018 FA Cup success was the first in Willian's six years at Chelsea. And this season, the milestones have kept on coming. Willian! What a sublime finish from the Brazilian. For me, it's an it's a honour to, first, first of all, to play for Chelsea, and then to, to reach 50 goals. I hope more to, to come. The fourth round win over Sheffield Wednesday marked Willian's 550th appearance in club football. I scored two goals, we play, we play very well. And, uh, but now it's a totally different situation. <laughs> the Brazilians' personal achievements have been overshadowed by an alarming sequence of results for the team. A 4-0 league defeat to Bournemouth, followed by an even bigger loss at Manchester City, has left Chelsea with a bout of the blues. Yeah, it's difficult, it's difficult. When, especially when you lose games like we lost for City 6-0, it's, it's a completely uh, bad result. We are only six, six months, seven months with, with Sahi. We change a lot our profile to play, to play football. Everyone can see we have more and more possession during the games. We change uh, uh, some players as well. So we enjoy to play in that system. I think uh, we have to just to improve ourselves. And the holders will need to be at their best if they're to beat Manchester United in a repeat of last season's FA Cup final. The Red Devils have won 10 of their 12 games under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who took over from Jose Mourinho. They are in front of us now in Premier League. They was, I think, 11 points behind. And now they are in front. They are in a good moment. They play very well. And, uh, they have great players, technical players. Great team, strong team as well. And they are Man United. So it will be a big game. For Chelsea to reverse this slump, their senior players will be key. Willian is hoping to line up against Manchester United for the 12th time. That tells you he's now one of the team's elder statesmen. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know that I'm already, already 30, you know. <laughs> A bit old. <laughs> I feel good, I feel good to play, I feel good to speak when, with the, the, the young players to do, to give them some experience uh, about my history or something like that. So that is, that is important. At the other end of the experience scale is fellow winger Callum hudson Adoy, who also found the net in round four. Despite being linked with a move to Bayern Munich, he's staying at Stamford Bridge, for now at least. He can become one of one of the best players in the world in the future. He has talent, he's fast, he's a very technical player, but he's only 18 years old. At this age, he's very, he's very dangerous. Sometimes some players, they think already, ah, I'm, uh, I'm here, I don't have to, to improve, I don't have to prove nothing for anybody. So until you retire, you have to continue to prove that you can play, that you can score goals. So he knows that and I uh, hope he have a great career. You have to sacrifice, to do everything to win titles. I won five titles already here, and of course I want more. And finally, AFC Wimbledon and Newport are put to the test in our FA Cup quiz. Any clues? Definitely not. Question one. 25 years ago, Man United and Chelsea met in the FA Cup final. United ran out 4-0 winners, but which player scored a brace in that 94 final? 
25 years ago. Two goals. 25 years ago. <laughs> Norman Whiteside. That would have been two, three year old. Sparky. Brian McClare. Solskjaer. Honestly, like, my brain is not functioning right now. Ted? Nah, it weren't Teddy Sheringham. Oh, no, who's? Yeah, Cantona. It wasn't Cantona, was it? Eric Cantona. Cantona. I'm sleep deprived, I've got twins. Sorry, no excuses, Joe. It was Eric Cantona who put away two penalties in United's 4 0 win over Chelsea. Question two Barnett's defeat to Brentford means no non league sides are left in the draw. But this century, four non league clubs have made the fifth round. Can you name one? Ooh. Chesterfield, were they one? Leatherhead? Hereford? North Shields? South Shields? Did Stephen do it when he won in the league? Sutton? Lincoln? 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 I mean, they made it all the way to the quarters, didn't they? Lincoln did indeed in 2017, the same year Sutton reached round five, a feat achieved by Luton in 2013 and Crawley in 2011. Question three, Wimbledon's crazy gang shot Liverpool in the 1988 final, but one member of that side did lift the trophy again. Name him. I should know this as well. Come on, Joe. It wasn't Vinnie Jones, was it? Vinnie Jones? Can't have been the gaffer. The gaffer. <laughs> If I've got that wrong, Gaffer would have killed me. Oh, no, I'm going to get hammered. All the Wimbledon fans are going to be killing me right now, aren't they? They're going to be battering me. A bit before my time, that. Oh. Dennis Wise? Dennis Wise? Wisey. Wise, yeah, it was Dennis Wise. I was thinking, yeah. It's just about every year with Chelsea, wasn't it? <laughs> just the two more cup wins for Dennis Wise, who captained Chelsea in 1997 and 2000. Question four, Newport are on a fine run for the second successive year. But which Premier League side did they take to a replay before losing in last year's fourth round? <laughs> well, seeing as I was working for Jamshedpur FC and in the Indian Super League, that one slipped my mind. I ain't got a clue. Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Spurs. Tottenham Hotspur. That's the easiest question I've had all day, that one. Well, it helps if you were on the pitch that night. It was Tottenham who ended Newport's run at Wembley. And finally, there are just seven Premier League sides remaining in the fifth round, the lowest since 2008, when only six were left. But who won the cup that year? What year was it? 2008. They have Premier League team now. 2008. Is it Wigan? Arsenal? Arsenal. Man United. Man United. Is it Sunderland? It's Chelsea then. Oh no. South Coast. Southampton, no. No clue. Oh, I know who it was. I know exactly who it was. And I'll tell you who they beat in the final. It was Portsmouth. They beat the uh, Cardiff. Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Oh my god, of course it's Portsmouth. That's right, Portsmouth won the cup ten years ago. So with full marks, AFC Wimbledon Scott Wagstaff is our clear winner. Got there in the end.